The Formula One Grand Prix event in the Netherlands is held under the identity the Dutch Grand Prix. And currently it has a big attraction as it's the home Grand Prix event to the champion driver Max Verstappen. Even though the history of the Grand Prix racing in the Netherlands has dated back to 1950, it hasn't been able to reserve a permanent spot in the Formula 1 calendar over the years. After the 1985 edition, the event totally disappeared from the Formula 1 calendar and made a return to the F1 calendar back in 2021 after a 35-year gap. So participating in this motorsport event as a spectator is still a newer experience for Formula 1 fans. That's why we thought to help you in planning your journey to the Dutch Grand Prix through this video. Welcome back to Total F1. This is our latest video of the Grand Prix Adventure video series. But before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. As mentioned earlier, the Dutch Grand Prix was held during the periods between 1950 and 1985 continuously. However, it became part of the Formula One Championship for the first time in 1952. Since the beginning, the event was held at a circuit based in a town called Zandvoort. You need to move 40 kilometers west of the Netherlands capital, Amsterdam, to find this town. Apart from watching a Formula One event, there are many things to do in this area as a traveler. Depending where you're located, there are a number of ways to reach Zandvoort. If you're an international traveler who is visiting from outside of Europe, you can use Amsterdam's airport Schiphol as the main international airport to reach there. This is located 9 miles away from Amsterdam's city centre. In terms of air traffic, this is the 6th busiest airport in the world. But for a cheaper flight, you can look at options like Rotterdam, The Hague Airport, Eindhoven Airport and also the Lillestad Airport, which are situated at a relatively longer distance from the capital. Apart from flying to Amsterdam, there are many other options available to a fan inside the European continent. The capital city of the Netherlands is well connected with the rest of Europe through a great train network, and the train is considerably cheaper than taking a flight, so it's possible to use that one too. But if you can tolerate a long bus ride, then you can reach Zandvoort using that method too. Eurolines and Flixbus carry out their services to the Netherlands from a number of major European cities. Driving to Zandvoort is also a good option if you want to cut some expenses for your journey. However, it's not possible to drive closer to the circuit as an exclusion zone is declared surrounding the town and circuit area with the aim of avoiding unnecessary traffic congestion on race weekends. In order to get closer to the circuit area, you can just walk or have a bicycle ride along the streets of Zandvoort. But if you're uncomfortable with these methods, you can use a dedicated bus service which is going around the town to get there. Zandvoort normally comes with a range of accommodation options with its tourist-based economy, so it wouldn't be too difficult to find an accommodation to fit with your own budget. Apart from these established accommodation options, Zandvoort offers some great places for camping around the circuit. These camping sites are normally held by Dutch people, but you can also find a place for camping. You just need to get there a bit early to reserve a spot. Moving outside of Zandvoort, you can also consider about accommodation options in towns like Amsterdam, Haarlem and The Hague. All these are tourist hotspots in Europe and they are composed of well-established accommodation facilities. Most of the tickets of Zandvoort are either two-day or three-day tickets. Here, the grandstand tickets are ranged as bronze, silver half and gold tickets. The bronze ones are the cheapest and normally come with a poor view of the circuit. So, silver half and gold offer some great views, which are worth the money that you pay for them. However, large video screens are placed in front of every grandstand, offering a good view of the circuit. The main grandstand is the only grandstand with a roof in Zandvoort. The general admission areas of Zandvoort offer some better views than some bronze grandstands, as these areas are located in relatively higher grounds. Predominantly, there are three main gates for fans to enter the circuit. Gate 1 provides the access to the VIP zone, General Admission 1, Tarzan Inn Grandstands, Pit Grandstand, Main Grandstand and Ben Pond Grandstand. If you use the train to reach Zandvoort, then Gate 2 is the closest entry point available for such fans. VIP Zone, Fan Zone, General Admission 2, Arena Out Grandstand, Arena Grandstands, Arena In Grandstand, East Side Grandstands and Champions Club by F1 Experiences can be accessed using this gate. 
However, gate 3 of the circuit is issued only for official purposes of the circuit. Gate 4 is used only to access few areas like General Admission 1, East Side Grandstands and Hairpin Grandstands. Before entering the circuit, it's better to identify the proper gate that provides access to the circuit area of your ticket to avoid unwanted problems after entering. In parallel with the Formula 1 event in Zandvoort, either Formula 2 or Formula 3 races are not held as supporting races. Instead, Formula 1 Academy Race and Porsche Supercar Race will be held. The Grand Prix weekend in Zandvoort will be following the regular format, including three free practice sessions and the Grand Prix event. The Grand Prix event in Zandvoort can be considered as one of the events that provides the greatest circuit experience to the fans. Even if there is no race, Zandvoort remains one of the famous tourist spots in the Netherlands. With its positioning close to the sea, it's comprised of popular bars, restaurants and beach clubs, offering a great offshore experience to F1 fans. With the presence of tourist-based culture in Zandvoort, it's comprised of plenty of shops to do great shopping. There are some really good places to buy unique gifts to remember your journey to Zandvoort. There are a variety of restaurants in the beach area that mainly include delicious seafoods. But if you wish to move outside of this town, you can go either to Harlem or Amsterdam that include numerous things to explore for a person who visits there for the first time. You'll have to take a short train ride to reach Harlem and it includes a range of museums that provide a good understanding about the history of the Netherlands. By riding a bicycle or going on foot, you can explore this entire city. Further, you can join a canal cruise of the city as well. Throughout this city, a lot of green spaces can be found, and the oldest public park of the entire Netherlands, Harlem Mahout, is also located here. It's not difficult to find a place to sit and relax your mind by moving out of the busy atmosphere of Zandvoort. Amsterdam is the other closest destination that a fan can visit with a considerable expense. This is the fifth most visited city of Europe due to the rich culture that it possesses. In Amsterdam, you can visit places like Dam Square, the Van Gogh Museum, Anne Frank House, Artis Amsterdam Royal Zoo, and also the Heineken Brewery, which all provide different types of experiences. This ancient European city is famous for providing some great dining experiences with the range of restaurants that the city provides. Further, the bar culture of Amsterdam is also a heritage of that city. In this way, you can easily plan your Grand Prix weekend in Zandvoort and visiting the Netherlands is not a relatively tough experience for a foreigner visiting for the first time. But for the success of your journey, proper planning must be done before departing from your home country. We hope this video will be useful for that purpose. Do you have anything to share with our fans? Use the comment section below. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to get more exciting Formula 1 news. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.